Go barefoot, elf style. Oh, cool. It's not cool, Jasper. It's cold. I need my boots, and if I can't find my old ones, that means I can buy some fab new ones. Uh oh, shoe shopping later, dude. I gotta go and talk to a rock or something. Where are your boots, Aunt Garnet? They were here last night, and now my entire gamut of fluff line boots has vanished. How can that be? Oh, I need new boots. All of my 15 pairs are gone. I can't find my boots anywhere either. Mm. I must have put my boots somewhere here. No, no, no! Hello, girls. If all our boots have gone missing at the same time, that can only mean one thing. They've been stolen. <gasps> stolen? Stolen? I'm sorry, is there an echo in here? But who would want to steal our boots? Someone who has a deep love of boots, of course. Someone who's not here trying to purchase a new pair. I'm thinking Opal, <gasps> the Outback Boot Bandit. Sapphira, you can't mean that. Even if there is a boot burglar, it would never be Opal. Think about it, Pearly. How much do we really know about Opal? We went to fairy school with her, Sapphira. And back then she wore boots. Case closed. I suggest we drop by her <sighs> log and investigate. All right, I'll come with you, but only to prove that Opal is honest, true, and 100% innocent. Step back, drag, tap, sweep, round, cross. Step back, drag, tap, sweep, round, cross. Ripper! Aha! Uh -huh. What did I tell you? She's obsessed with boots. Because she's dancing? I know you're fond of your strange little mate, Pearly. But don't you remember that first day she came to Jubilee Park? Hey, these are my best snakeskin boots. Shirley made these when she shed her skin last summer. That doesn't prove anything. She's wearing those same boots right now. Of course she is. Opal's always been terribly vain about her footwear. I'm afraid it's case closed. If the boot fits, Opal's wearing it. I'm sure Gobsmack will be most interested to hear this revelation. <laughs> Drag, tap, sweep, round, cross. So there you go. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Whew. Hurley burly, Opal. You sure love your boots. You bet. Boots are bonza. Fairy can never have too many pairs, I reckon. I can't seem to find mine anywhere. And, uh, Sapphira's have gone missing, too. You don't think someone's stolen them, do you? Who'd do a thing like that? <laughs> That's just what I said to... I can lend you a pair. Not these, though. I'm wearing them to the boot scootin' dance. Boot scootin'? Dancing in boots to fairy and western music. There's a get-together tomorrow. You should come. Opal must be arrested now. It's outrageous. She can't get away with this. Um, <laughs> you are so beautiful in your age, mistress. But may I humbly suggest that a uh, massage might be in order, huh? To soothe you while you see it. Nancy! So, what are you waiting for? Evidence? Even I can't bring a case before the fairy court without sufficient evidence. I'll get your evidence for you. I know. We'll set a trap in the fairy ring tonight. Oh, oh. 
Gobsmack, hand over your boots. My boots? Huh. Yeah, um, I can't take them off because, you know, they're precious. I have a slight foot condition. Boots off, now. Ow! Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Opal can't be the boot bandit. I'm sure of it. It just isn't like her. What am I missing here? Hmm. Did any of you dudes think it's, like, probably the rats? No, it's not them either. They can't eat boots. We'll have to think harder. Evidence, that's what we need. You're right. If only I had a pair of boots, we could set a trap in the fairy ring tonight. Got some? Ugh. I found them in a locked cupboard down the back. They were left for repair, and no one's picked them up. No wonder. Oh, they reek. Ugh. Sapphira, what are you two doing here? I could ask you and the elf the same question. Shh, 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 shh. We're planning to lure the boot thief, who is definitely not Opal, out of hiding with these. Ew. Jasper, set your stare down here. Your silly elf rope won't catch who we're after. And it will be Opal, you'll see. She won't be able to resist these. Ludwig! Put your net up there. <laughs> nice. Ugh. Gross. <sighs> the wonders of the nocturnal life, huh? Sleeping through the noise of the day and awake all night long. Ooh, savoring the lovely silence of the... Well, I suppose small fairies never will truly understand the ways of the bat. Crikey! <laughs> what? <gasps> yes! But I don't know anything about any missing boots. I only came outside last night to see what that awful smell was. In fact, I can still smell it. <laughs> <clears throat> but why is it that everyone's boots have been stolen while you still have yours? Exactly! Take her away, gobsmack. Sapphira, I'd never steal anyone's boots. And if I did take the boots you left, I would have them on. So where are they? Exactly. I knew it wasn't you, Opal. However, as of now, Opal, I have to say you are my prime suspect. Oh, dear. And Pearly, you have until the park closes to prove Opal's innocence, or I am taking her into custody. You haven't heard the last of this, Opal. Ludwig! Oh! Yes! Yes! Right away! You have to help me, Pearly. I'm innocent. Don't worry, Opal. We'll crack this case together. Now, let's start at the beginning. Let's go over what we have one more time. So, the boots were gone by the time Opal got to the fairy ring. Maybe Sapphira's trying to frame me. Maybe she took the boots of the fairy ring. Or she's got Ludwig doing her dirty work. No. We must rule out anyone who flies. Study these footprints closely. Trouble is, the trail goes cold on the footpath here. It's the rats, dude! Nope, no evidence of tail prints or fleas. Gobsmack? Nope, not enough feet. <sighs> We're looking for a multi-legged, tailless, fleeless creature who has no taste or sense of smell. Oh man, mental wipeout. So, we have a rough idea of the suspect. Now we need to establish a strong motive. Hurly Burly, that's it! The boot scoot and dance. Now I know how to capture the culprit. Let's roll. Ow! 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 ow. Uh, take it easy, dudes! Hells hate wearing shoes. I, I need to feel the earth beneath my feet. All for a good cause, Jasper. Yeah, have a fight to clear my name. But why me? I, I can't boot scoot. This <sighs> won't take long. All you have to do is get to the rotunda early and start calling the warm-up dance. I'm predicting that our thief has an unnatural love of boot scooting. And as soon as I see stolen boots, I'll round up the culprit with my lasso. They're not any old boots, you know, Jasper. I borrowed them from a gnome from Nashville, the boot scooting capital of the world. And the wonderful thing is... <laughs> they can dance by themselves. And one and two, eyes left, 
push and lace together. Uh, left hand on blue and back There's in no line. There's no one here yet except... Uh, uh, Yee-haw! Oh, oh, oh. Gobsmack's a fairy and western fan? That's one barefoot, boot-scootin' goblin, all right. But no, he's not our man. We must keep watching. I know Opal's the boot bandit. Question is, how do I prove it? Nancy, a massage, now. I must think this through. Ludwig! No! Where's that wretched myriapod masseuse? Find her. Oh, oh, you know what? She's escaped, mistress, escaped, I tell you! I didn't say she could have the afternoon off. After her, now. Oh. Whoa! Ugh. Get these crazy boots off of me, man! There's no boot burglar here, Opal. Yeah. My plan's not Ooh. working. Just give it one minute more. We have our boot burglar! Yahoo! Ripa. Way to go, partner! Excellent! <sighs> ow! Ow! Oops, sorry, Jasper. Good work. Here you go, mate. Keep your friends close and your boots closer. Ow! <gasps> really? Nancy, you're the boot bandit? But why? It's just that I really wanted to come to the dance tonight. I, I was only going to borrow the boots. I would have bought my own if Sapphira had given me some time to go shoe shopping. I have no choice. Theft is a serious crime. 50 hours of community service, starting with the rainbow boot dance-off. Huh? I need a partner. Would you be so kind? I'd love to. <laughs> Excuse me. I never said you could have the night off. Because I absolutely insist you take the entire weekend. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Wow. Jubilee Park looks very tacular. Oh, time for a cup and a cake. Jasper should be off snail duty by now. Perfect. Ew, that's some serious snail trail. Where's Jasper? Mm. Jasper! <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Dude! You were supposed to be directing the snails around the rotunda. Oh, I must have nodded off. I'm on it. It's too late. They slimed the whole place. Can't you, like, use your wand or something? Not on snail trail. Not enough fizzle in my wand for that. Let's see what Aunt Garnet says. Super snail trail spray away. Perhaps it's behind those bouncing alpaca spitballs. Whoa! Peruvian blasting toadstools? Careful, Jasper. They sound dangerous. Not so much dangerous, dearie, as utterly unexpected. There I was, hiking in darkest Peru, which was terribly exciting, but oh, so exhausting. So I sat down on a toadstool to take the briefest of moments rest, but then... I was blasted from the lost city of the Incas to Lake Titicaca. And did you want to go to Lake like a uh, Tata? Absolutely, my dear boy. I was imagining a place with a good wave for kayaking. So these little beauties take you to where you want to go? Far less tiresome than taking a tour bus. Although you do have to just use the tiniest. Jasper, don't. Bit. Jasper's been blasted. He'll be perfectly fine. Wherever he was thinking about before the blast, that's where he'll be. Uh, that could be anywhere. Or somewhere in particular. Good old predictable Jasper. Holy dooly! You okay, mate? Oh, I do believe so. Oh, you believe so, do you, Jasper? Ah! Ah! Tiny snakes attacking me! Oh, get them off! Get them off! Are these beasts attached to my head? Is this, in fact, my actual hair? Of course it's your hair. They're your precious dreadlocks. I need some sharp implements, immediately. I must be rid of them. Right. You're talking funny. You feeling okay? Do I know you, or indeed you? Come to think of it, who am I? <gasps> Hurly burly, that blasting toadstool has made Jasper lose his memory. Let me ask just one more question. Oi, where'd he go this time? 
Jasper's lost his memory. It must be the Peruvian blasting toadstools. Oh, yes, there can be some side effects. And he fell on his head, don't forget. We've got to help him get his memory back. We need a cure right away. A cure? Are you sure? Sometimes there are things you want to forget. Forget me? Forget Opal? He was talking about cutting off his dreadlocks. A bareheaded elf? I've lived 500 years and never seen one. Fear not, I've got an amnesia cure here. I'll help you look for it, and I'll find Jasper. You call that clean, Ludwig? Soap scum. Start again. Oh, but mistress, my very wings! <laughs> to what do I owe the pleasure of a visit from Jasper the friendly elf? I don't remember anything. All I know is I woke up and I had these awful things stuck on my head. I really need a haircut. Really? Crikey, the cure could be anywhere. Here it is. What's that? My fairy thinking cap. It holds in your thoughts if you've got a lot on your mind. So it might help you remember where you put your amnesia cure? Mm -hmm. On top of the cupboard. La, 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 la. Lovely marmalade. Mmm, want some? La, 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 la. Of course, there's no such thing as a free haircut. So get to work. Wipe and polish. As you wish. Oh, this is too wonderful. His mind is a blank. I can retrain him to do exactly as I please. But, uh, mistress, um, I already do all your cleaning. <laughs> Badly. Uh, the elf will clean as I please, how I please. And also, Pearly will lose her assistant and best pal. What a pity. Yoo-hoo! Jasper! Have you seen Jasper? He's late for a possum posse bongo lesson. I'm looking for him too, Sugar. I'm sure he'll be here soon. Can I help? Well, you're not Jasper, but you could try. So, something like this? Jasper taught you that? Whoa! Whoa! Jasper's usually here by now. Someone has to train the Sweet Peas to climb the trellis. I'm sure I can help. Training Sweet Peas can't be that hard. <gasps> Yoo-hoo! Jasper! <laughs> Try this, sweetie. It will give a better finish. Thank you, beautiful princess of darkness. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Your fangs could do with a brush. Ooh. Yes, Terry, I'll teach you how to surf right after I help Mother Duck with her Burley. cooking. Early, Jasper always scratches the bit on my back. Yay. Where's Jasper? Oh. How does Jasper keep up with all this? He works a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Elf! Ah. Whoa! Ah. Whoa. Ugh. Teensy watermark, darling. So sorry, my lady. <laughs> Get up or you're fired. You are no friend of the bed, my fine Mr. L. Have you found a cure for Jasper? I haven't been able to find him anywhere. I'm so worried about him. It's here somewhere, Pearly. Do you think maybe he's left the park? Huh? What's this? A million magical remedies. That's it! Now, A, aardvarks, marvelous creatures, tubular snouts, can play a most sprightly Scottish horn. Please pipe. hurry, Great Aunt Garnet. Amnesia. Hmm. Seems there's a hairspray. Perfect for Jasper. Here it is. What about the toadstools? If they can blast you to where you want to go, what if I wanted to go where Jasper is? Brilliant! Why not? Here, you go first. There's plenty of mushrooms. Okay, ready for blast off. Take me to where Jasper is. Perfect! 
so clean, you can't tell the glass is actually there. <laughs> Losing your mind has done wonders for you, Jasper. And still no pearly. That's a surprise. Still no who? Never mind. You've done quite well. Although, we don't want nasty elf hair on the furniture, do we? Oh, mistress, a haircut is what I desire most, if it would please you. It would indeed. Ludwig, the snip-snaps. Oh, mistress, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What? This floor's like an ice rink. Ludwig! Oh, boy. <laughs> Whoa! Ludwig! Okay, all right. Whoa! <laughs> Mystery! Whoa! Ludwig! <laughs> <laughs> Jasper, it's me, your best friend, Pearly. Whoa! I've been looking for you everywhere. Whoa! I've had the most wonderful day cleaning for my mistress, Sapphira. This is what I was born to do. Jasper, you hate cleaning, and you don't work for Sapphira. Whoa! He does now. If you'll excuse us, time for his haircut. <laughs> Prepare to be bored, small elf. <laughs> no, 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 no. What? <laughs> yeah! Here it is. Remembering hairspray. One squirt to your dreadlocks and your memory will be restored. Just in time, he was about to get his hair cut. Great gadzooks, a fairy cutting an elf's hair off. I was only doing what he wanted. Thanks, but we'll take care of him now. Let's get him to your shell and apply the antidote. But... Sapphira? But of course. Drat my cursed cousin walking off with my free cleaner. <laughs> Never mind, mistress. Your glass house is boggling. It's so clean you can't tell the glass is actually there. Now for the moment of truth. One squirt. Now, what can you remember? I remember... Yes? yes. That Sapphira's massage table still needs a 57th layer of French polish. Oh. Oh. And that I have to clean the rotunda. There's snail trails everywhere. Yay! Jasper's yeah. back! <laughs> I'm so glad to have you back. Because you missed me? Yes, and because I never realized how much work you do in Jubilee Park. <laughs> Hey, Pearly, are you coming or what? Sorry, Pearly. Your day's not finished just yet. Pearly? <sighs> <laughs> no worries. I'm on it. <laughs>